do you wear fake jewelry? And um, the, the answer to that question is more than likely you do. No matter how much you paid for the jewelry, you are not a jeweler. So how would you actually know when they say moissanite diamonds are just as clear as the, or almost as clear as the diamonds and past the diamond tester? So they are a form of diamonds. Look at how we looking at, you know, distinguishing little, little, little features and facts about a diamond or how bright it shine or what it attracts or, you know what I'm saying? So the the that, that for all we know the shit that they selling and passing off as real diamonds has always been moissanite and has never been real diamonds you understand so you'll get people who you'll get people who look at people and be like you know moissanite diamonds man that ain't nothing nah 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 these i actually yours look just like mine for the most part and i paid three times four times more than you did is that something to brag about like at the end of the day so a part of me says, yeah, growing up in middle school when we young and, and all that, we get our first little earrings and all that. More than likely, bro, they the, uh, zircon, the, the cubic zirconia, I believe that's what they call it. That's, that's normally what we're going to be at. You know what I mean? Uh, eighth grade, sixth grade. You know what I mean? It does the job. It, get, it passes it. Now, I seen a video of Liquid Cash, right? Uh, I, I like him. I need to like, he going to be on my Friday flowers. Him, you know, finesse and... And it's a lot of people I'm going to be putting on there because I'm like creative players. Even if I don't got them in the room with me, I'm, I want to still be able to show my audience, the people I'm telling you, y'all need to also watch. You dig what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I think, yeah, that that, that makes sense. But yeah, Liquid Cash, creative player, man. I might uh, I might upload this one to the creative players, you know, wearing fake jewelry. What do you think? How do you feel about that? Like, what, did, what, what goes through your mind when you see or you hear that? You know what I mean? Because to some people, like, my chain right here. When I came to Atlanta 2016, I was working like I was working like two jobs, making some nice, you know what I mean, decent amount of money. And I go and I set a budget for what I got to spend. And for me negotiating, talking to the, the man, you know, he don't even talk, you know, talk proper English. He's just trying to negotiate with me, close a deal. I'm like, I done talked him down to like 1200 1300 You know what I mean? From what he was trying to charge me. So I don't know. And I'm like, at the same time. If, if I'm going to spend this much, it got to at least be some. It, it ain't the bullshit. Like, niggas was getting these uh, fabric fucking chains at the time. Niggas was on that type of shit. I'm like, nah, I'm going to invest at 12 or 13. I don't know if I'm getting finesse. I don't even know if I'm getting a real good deal. Why would he start at, at the two something and work his way down to 13 and settle on that? You know what I mean? So, then the go 10 carat, 14 carat, 20. You really got to be into that to know type of shit. That ain't no knowledge. That ain't nothing they're going to teach you at school. That ain't nothing you're going to just come upon unless somebody put it upon you or you put it upon yourself. That ain't nothing to just roll over. You know what I mean? That ain't a a, a stop mean, a red mean stop and a green mean go. That ain't that obvious. That ain't that boom. You ain't going to know because whether the light was maroon or pink and the other one was uh, uh, olive green or, or lime green, you know what I mean? If it was, you would still be able to indicate because it got the job done. That's what I'm saying. The jewelry, it don't have to be what it's supposed to be, even if it's something similar like it and it's passing and getting a job done. Hey, I can't complain because even if it's for your, uh, to boost your confidence at one point in time, you know what I mean? Um, you know, to get you, you, you ain't got the clothes. You're like, all right, let me put this chain on. Let me put these earrings in. I'm going to look a little bit. Cool. You got it. You know, we all go through this phase as men growing up, if we're being honest with ourselves, of trying to, you know, we got to try to figure out, like, we think we supposed to be like everybody else. Then we realize we got to stand out. And then, you know, you realize, like, hey, the, the final stage of that is actually, I'm cool. That's why you see all these successful people. They ain't worried about getting too fresh and fly because it's a stage. You go through these certain stages in life and, once you get to that third stage, like I said, you realize, man, all that shit don't matter. But in that middle stage and beginning stage, you be focused on that type of shit because you have to get shit in order to realize that it don't even matter. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Like, you like, yo, no, nah, I need this for this other specific reason. And then you get it, you realize, you know what? I really don't need it because it's, it, it may add more more complications. It may more add more kinks to the system that I got to maintain and make sure they operate properly. No, you don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, when it comes to, you know, wearing fake jewelry and all that, let's see what uh, Liquid Cash said. Yeah, and winning the Super Bowl. It's like being a basketball player and having an MVP. That's what the jewelry does for us. 
It's like our MVP award. There's a lot of niggas fronting out here. There's a lot of niggas got fake ass jewelry. There's a lot of niggas out here that's buying cars they cannot afford. You know what I mean? They live in check to check and life is really fucked up for them. But you know what? They can maintain a certain level of success. So it looks good on the outside because perception is reality. There's only 1% of niggas getting money out here, man. Everybody ain't <laughs> shining like this, man. A lot of niggas got fucking moistenite diamonds in they shit, man. A lot of niggas walking around with lab diamond jewelry, man. We got to talk about it, man. You feel me? Women can wear fake jewelry. Kids can wear fake jewelry. But if you over a certain motherfucking age, nigga, you wearing fake jewelry, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are no longer permitted to be nowhere on this motherfucking planet Earth. And you walking in the club and you got on fake jewelry. You trying to bamboozle a little bitch to make it look like you rich. And you ain't got a pot to piss in or a winner to throw it out of, man. Throw that monkey shit away, man. And they want to stand next to a nigga like me who's really, really doing it. Who's really spending that bag. You feel me? These niggas is mixing it to fix it. Shit don't add up, B. Let me tell you something, man. I gotta tell y'all this real quick. This is very important. Fake jewelry do not raise your vibration. It actually dims your light. It brings your energy down. This is why I don't wear fake jewelry. If you don't shine the diamond that's inside of you, I don't care if you go to Johnny Dang. I don't care if you go to Eliente, or whatever the fuck they call that nigga. I don't care if you go to Mozzie. I don't care if you go to Jimmy. I don't care where you go. It don't matter. If you don't shine the diamond what's inside of you, the moment you put that chain on, nigga, the lights are out. That's why the niggas who do spend money on real diamond and they shit still cloudy, they shit still look like a motherfucking forecast, look like a storm about to come on, they shit is so cloudy, and they got real diamonds, it's cloudy because the diamond inside of them it's not shining. Ah, that was a bar. I like that. I like that, man. That was a bar. I'm reading what the nigga said. Yeah, they said we want to see what's the point of real diamonds if fake diamonds shine too. I'm just seeing what the comments say. What happened to fake it till you make it? I fucks with bro content, but jewelry is scam unless it's gold. Okay, so they kind of feeling, they kind of saying what I'm saying. There's so many niggas real jewelry in the pawn shop. For the low 60k change, 15k, whatever, I'm good. He would never get money back off them big ass Cubans. Fake jewelry is the most common thing I see now. Uh, fake it till they make it. Yeah, yeah. They told it. They 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 they, they did tell us fake it till you make it, didn't they? I know y'all remember that. They used to tell y'all fake it till you make it because it'll help you believe and get that confidence to where eventually it'll start rubbing off on them. And you've seen a lot of people talk about wearing fake jewelry. Um. Yeah, and I was looking at this also from uh, Fresh and Fit. They was uh, streaming tonight, and I seen Ray J say something. I'm looking with you for yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? About all of us. I want everybody to get right, money from the That's it. You get nine, ten. Ten, <laughs> ten is solid standard. Ten, I could have took twenty, but ten is good. Twenty is twenty is fair. Okay, we got but ten. I'm so taking ten. We got two more. Says, Who'd you pick? Um, Under the three. So just like by Jeremy. the looks Hold from outside, like thank God I haven't seen it. It's not about you. Look at his shirt. Fuck no. We don't care about that. So, okay, you don't care about the chain, you care about the chain. It's not showing the chain. Does that matter to women or not at all? Yes, it most definitely does. Like, I need to see a fucking Fuck no. It do matter. I need to see a chain. It's not showing So, if you don't got a chain on, she's not fucking on. Wow, that's serious, right? So, So, okay, you, you don't, don't care, care about the chain, you care about the chain. She said that Fuck she... no. Why? Fuck no. Why? Because niggas, niggas got way. fake chains out here. So they wear it like they got that. And then once you get with them and you realize they ain't got oh, that, then you just look at look fake, JP? You hand out. Does my chain look fake? You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it look... And see, the way he's saying, does my chain look fake? It may, he making it seem like that chain ain't real. Fake or not, a motherfucker ain't fucking with your little chain, my nigga. I'm not fucking with you for you. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Like, it's real to me. That's me. Keep it real. Keep it real. You don't bag. You don't really. Yo, you got to keep her. Ladies, does jury matter? Yeah. They like yeah. You be honest. You be honest. Yes. Be honest. Jury matters. Different, but you be honest. Jury matters. Jury matters. Jury. Like, no. Nope. Jury matters. Like, like, All right. Matters. So what about the fake persons? No, I know where fake persons. And that's where I'm at with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen up. See, that's where I'm at with it. When we come to. When we come to these things and we talking about, um, here, yeah, no, 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 no. When we come to these situations where we talking about, can a man wear fake jewelry? See, I'm with all with Liquid Cash for saying, and all of what I was saying before. But when we come and we turn that light and point it at the women and we say, you got fake hair. 
Women would laugh at a man with fake hair. You understand that? I don't care what you say. They laugh at them motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> knock it off. So, fake lashes, right? Eyelashes being longer than your real. They not your real ones. You take your eyelashes off. Come on, knock it off. Nails. Now, we was fine with nails. Feet and toes. Both of them. I'll keep that as one. That's three. You know what I mean? But it's going to... The ass is fake now. The titties are fake also. The lips... Are fake also. Uh, the makeup. It's not even the real you. Men, if we wear makeup, y'all would laugh. All these things. On, if you've seen a man with eyelashes, if you've seen a man with fake abs or fake arms, you're laughing at him. Fake hair, you're laughing at him. Fake eyelashes, you're laughing. Fake lips. Show me a nigga who got lips and think I won't laugh in that motherfucker. Fake. Tell me. Show me a man with lips and think I won't laugh in his face. You know what I mean? Knock it off. Like, bro, you don't need that, bro. And you know why? What we say, be like, bro, you don't need that. You come on. We 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 meant that. That's what we would say. That's what we was taught up and raised. And now we get into a point where you can't even say that without offending somebody. You can say it, but without offending somebody. That's what I'm saying. Back in the day, nobody was offended by that. Now everybody's so offense offended by everything everybody say. Who gives a fuck? Like I somebody was uh, mad at one of my uh V YouTube videos. I forgot his name. You know, hater. Call me an Oreo. So I guess that's black outside, white inside. And I'm like, bro, you think that's going to get me riled up? You call me an Oreo or something? Because I don't agree to vote for the the the, the candidate of the pre presidency who I believe is just unqualified. Like, I'm just supposed to put her in there because she's a black woman running in this position and we just got to get her through? What the fuck? Like, nigga, do you think I was not born last night? I was not born yesterday. What are we talking about? Like, you think, who who goes off base that? Like, who does that? You put some rappers in front of me, you think you got my vote? No. No, it didn't work for Trump. Trump put rappers in front of me. That isn't, all that was nothing to what uh, got my vote. Even when Kanye was doing that, I was still like, hold on, is Kanye tripping? Kanye, Kanye just be, uh, if he be like two, three years ahead of everybody. We are just fucking catching up. This this is Kanye's world. We just live it. I'm telling you, like, bro, he been so right about so much all type of stuff. And I say that sarcastically, of course, but Kanye, a lot of the stuff he has came out with from the Adidas deal to then his thing with his wife. And I'm like, bro, he has been talking some truth. You know what I mean? But off the Kanye. um, Yeah. When it comes to the fake jewelry and also like this jewelry, when I got it, this is, this is so monumental. This is like a tattoo. You understand what I'm saying? This is like a tattoo. I felt something in my heart and so and changed my name. This was like the first thing I got when I changed my name because I wanted people to call me Phoenix. Nigga, I could have paid $3 for this shit or 3000 You see what I'm saying? But what it means to me is everything. Everything. This was the courage to actually change my name. And that's why I got a chain. You feel me? So they wouldn't call me Ronnie. They, or Beatty, they called me Phoenix. That's what I wanted to be addressed as. This was like a name tag. People's change is like a name tag sometimes, you know? And I'm not going to look down at you if you're doing it for marketing purposes. Any hustler, even look, even bro, Liquid Cash, he would tell you, you were hustling. So he would, he would even if he, like he said, at a certain age, but he gets it for the people in them, them three stages I was talking about. You understand? You get it, you try to fit in, then you try to stand out, then you realize, damn, I don't need to fit. It's that stage of of um reality when it comes to like style and fashion. Oh, I need to, I need to see everybody wearing this, I need to go get that. Oh, everybody wearing these? You know what? I need to go put on some vans. Y'all got the J's? I'm gonna go wear a vans, okay, and try to stand out from y'all. Then you get to a stage where you're like, man. I don't care what the hell, man. What shoes are these? Are they white? This, that, they wear? They comfortable? That's when things start. You start looking at things. If you got to have a different measurement of um, of reason, I would say. It's a different measurement of reason when it comes to these certain stages of life. The reason we did it when we was young because we want to look like, like measure that. Then you, you want to stand out because you don't want to be like them. You got to prove that, measure that. But then you get to this point where, you realize, damn, we all are the same, and none of that stuff we thought was important was actually important. We all just need to be happy, comfortable, and make sure we 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 can get through this thing together the most peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Then you're at that level. Measure like it's different measurements of reasoning for what you wear and what you buy. Like I said, some people got a chain because they seen other people get a chain. 
Some people buy the chain because they seen, hey, I seen a dude get, the girls was going more flocking. And, okay, we all got a reason for what we do. But when it comes to fake jewelry, I'm telling you, I understand. Because I don't understand. I don't understand what's real gold, what's not real gold, what's, uh, I'm just talking about as a starter, now I do, you know what I mean, my shit ain't real, like, it's some things that shouldn't be fake, like a wedding ring and, you know, a statement that you ring that you wear, your watch and all that, nah, 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 I'm, I'm, now when we talk about fake jewelry, I don't play about fake watches, that's just chains, nigga, earrings, come on, you can lose these, I can lose, I, I bought real earrings, like, expensive earrings i'll go for like whatever the white go with i'll go for something that looks good i'll buy the moist tonight when it comes to the earrings i'll buy the moist tonight when it comes to the chain uh, you know what i mean but for the watch there is no other way to go besides that cage or you gotta i'm not going to the motherfucking overseas people to move it and no i need a corporate this is gold because they gonna get sued if this shit ain't gold type shit that's the type of security i need in my gold and my watches you know what i mean anything else in my rings the rings and watches is just but earrings and chains bro i don't give a fuck moist and night me up man i'm gonna tell you you can you everybody got what they got to say i guess if i was jay-z i'd be like nah i can't have niggas thinking i got moist and night diamonds on because i'm jay-z i'm the biggest win i i'm i got all this money i got to have the set the standard you know what i mean if i'm in that position but it costs to be the boss you see what i'm saying to be in there and say nah look what i got nigga i got a gold bath nigga i got a i got a gold i got a gold uh 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 Ooh, that was scary. I thought that my daughter had messed up my mixer. Looking at, I'm over here talking, playing games and stuff, talking about a gold mixer. And I realized one of them was muted. The one I'm talking on was muted. And, but luckily I had hit the hearing on it too. So, man, that saved me. I can't believe she did me like that. Now, let me hear. Bruh. Okay, okay. You what? Okay, I hear it. I hear it. I almost fucked up. You dig? Um, but yeah, so when it come to fake jewelry, bro, I'm just telling you, I get it. And mine was like a tattoo to me. And like it had a lot of meaning to me. So that's why it's so hard to buy another one because I wear this one like somebody wear they something that they cherish so much. Something it's like uh, you know, like I don't know, man. It's just something that means so much to me. Um, that it's so much so that it's a little bit different. And we seen a lot of celebrities talking about, man, I don't wear no real I forgot it was a it was a Terrell Owens or somebody like that, a football player was like, I don't wear no real jewelry. I'm the name itself, bro, da, da, da. like it looks the same. It pulls off, and most of the time, people don't know that shit is for you and people who pocket watching. I'm the only, them the only motherfucker. You know what I mean, you and the motherfuckers pocket watching that you don't want them to find out you got fake. Like them, the only ones that otherwise, other all them girls don't. They don't know fake jewelry for not. And nine times out of ten, if a shorty, if a if if, if a shorty know. If that's like her deal breakers and da da da, like, bro, I'm telling you, she done been through something. And you don't even want to deal with that. You might as well let that one go. Don't even worry about it. Like, but you can, you can think what you want about this day. You know what I mean? But and, and, and I'm not accounting like glasses or nothing like that. Oh, you should have some. You know, you gonna start off with the fake one, cool. You going even to the fake cologne. We been there. We know. You know what I mean? We been there. We know. The, the, the little tubes in the mall, the little small, the little five for 10 or whatever it might be, man. And, and you put it on, your skin go out there and people be like, yo, you smell good. Like, yo, why not? You know, and then you upgrade to the cologne. Yo, keep upgrading as you go along, man. But I'm, I'm not hating on nobody. But I will tell you, it gets out of hand when you buying them fucking, that uh, them popcorn joint when you, like bro that that shit looks so cheap you understand like way too cheap bro like come on now you you trying to jump the gun bucko you trying to go from here to here way too fast dog you ain't even got a car there ain't no reason you should have a big ass cuban that don't make no sense you ain't got nowhere to live you should not have a cuban chain on bro trying to fuck with some bitch now understand you you were in that meat beating stage you understand you don't need to be out here and if you could or or like date the the big the big ones those are ugly ones like you gotta that's your lane bro and you you can hit them without ever having to touch it a, a Cuban link bro a Cuban chain you you can hit them because not ain't nobody else trying to, like they'll be happy as long as you work out handsome or something you can knock them down all day without jury bro when you need the jury that's going you're attaining to a certain demographic because people gonna have to like a person with a certain look some women don't want no 
come on, some men like Joe Biden can't wear a gold chain. You see what I'm saying? A certain demographic. And it's more so just cultured or more, you know what I mean? Every that's the everyday man now. When like that, where we wear chains now, bro. You know what I mean? Faded up with the line like that just happened. You'll be surprised who you see with a chain. And a lot of people be having chains, simple chains, something with a cross on it or something like that. But when it comes to the Cuban, it's you're trying to be seen and you're trying to tell people, hey, I got something going on right now. And I'm trying to, you know, I got it. That's the, and that's, that's useful for some time. You know what I mean? For what you're trying to attract to you, whatever your message is through your image, that's going to attract the people to stop a little bit and take an extra look. Now, you either got to have that or you got to be well-dressed. You got to have the nice customized suits. They got to look good, fit you right. You know what I mean? With the clear, crisp angles and camera work. Yes, that's you, bro. That's where you want to be. That's it. That's who they want. That's who they want to see. But then you got them. That's why, And that's why Liquid Cash, you mentioned. The diamond in you got to shine brighter than the diamonds you wear. And I'm a firm believer in that. You know what I mean? I don't never want the car to drive me. I don't never want the clothes to wear me. You understand? I don't want, I want to be the one putting on something. You know what I mean? Just, hey, yeah, what is that? What you like, bro? Just nothing, really. You know what I mean? Look this, look that. I ain't putting on other name brands and putting them on. You know what I mean? Because they shine brighter than you in that situation. You wear that shit. You drive that shit. You know what I'm saying? Them cars be driving y'all. Cars be driving you. The lifestyle you, the lifestyle you're living is, it, it, is bro, you're not even really living. You like, yeah, you know I mean, it's almost like you're playing a role with some lifestyles. You got to be careful to not put too much on yourself and a big your image up too much because then you got to front and flex. You got to be like Bow Wow. Bow Wow going to sit at a photo shoot airplane or something. At, or I don't know what he did, but flexing like he was in first class. He posted the first class was in Delta or some shit like, yo, silly stuff. You got to perk. You got you to gotta put on for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then you, then you turn up, you live in a lie. So I would say you... You definitely got to watch how you pop it when it comes to the to the jury because it's a dang, it's a slippery slope. You'll start really believing you that nigga. And you re, you'll, you'll really start believing you paid $50,000 for a chain. You didn't, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And I will say, for the women, women do, some women, a lot of women do love chains, but the women that love chains, man, um, I would say it'll be a small percentage of them just wifey type. You know what I mean? Because if they see the chain, they won't they instantly looking at money out of you. They looking for something out of you. When they say they looking at you for the chains and the jewelry you got and the things you drive, they absolutely want you for your money and you gotta be able to uh to know what you're doing and how they think no matter what they say to you. They gonna lie to you, they gonna treat you like they gonna act like they a virgin for you. They gonna tell you they celibate. They gonna tell you they ain't been with nobody. Listen, they're lying. So you, when you put that shit on, you go out here and you get fresh as hell. You smell good. You know what I mean? You in shape. You doing all that. Yo. And then you look like you got a bag on you. Be careful. Because a woman will come up and play a game on you. Yo, life is a game. And the game is, I'm about to see what I can get up out of it. And they going to try it. They will most absolutely try. Okay, That was trippy. That's cool. Okay. Um, they going to try to get that bag out of you. And some of them deserve it, but not all. You know what I mean? Not all. Not at all. You got to be able to have discernment, as they say. You got to have discernment. That's going to get you through. That's going to that's gonna take you to that next level where you're trying to get to. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I ain't got nothing against um, folks that wear fake jewelry. I ain't got nothing against people that wear fake jewelry, but um, I do. When it's like, all caps, nigga, fake, and you out here perping like you this, nigga. Like, when the persona don't match, when the jury is bigger than the persona, and, you know what I mean, the ego is bigger than all that, like, yeah, nah, nah, nah. That's the only time it's like, nigga, take that jury off, because you, 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 you can't even understand how to use it. You got to use jury as a tool. 
And sometimes that too is going to be to boost your own ego, your confidence to get out here and feel like you look. Because some days you're going to feel like you ain't the shit. But I know a woman shouldn't talk knowing that they got with all the shit they got fake or something. They going to laugh at anything you do fake. But we sit here and let them get by with all the fake shit. Everything fake. And we still like, yo, like, attention, you're beautiful, buy you this and that. Like, no, your hair ain't real. Your nails ain't real. Your eyelashes ain't real. Your eye color may not even be real. Your lips might not even be real. Your titties might not be real. Your ass might not be real. But somebody along the line that has all those things will be doing fine, perfectly fine. Somebody done failed. She done suckered somebody in to fund her whole lifestyle and buy into what she was selling, to what she was attracting. She attracted that by doing all that. And it's all built off fake shit. Just imagine if it was a man in that position, faking his abs, faking his money, faking his life, uh, faking like faking his 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 game in the bed or not. He wouldn't stand a chance. He would have he wouldn't have a chance in hell. You understand? That's the difference between men and women. Like y'all can fake everything, but if a man fake one or two, he getting laughed at and getting disqualified off rip just based off that from a relationship standpoint even other men gonna look at like bro you did what you did what you doing with the what you got fake muscles like that's what you want type shit like you got a fake dick like, come on man knock it off bro fake hair nigga you get laughed at you get them fake dreads in sometimes people man that was a something to laugh at like bro you ain't even put your time in one day nigga you had a fade you had a taper nigga the next day you got a full head of dreads and think that nobody noticed knock it off bro like come on bro bro you what <laughs> you got dreads yesterday nigga you had a brush with wait what are we talking about here man like come on this motherfucker what the fuck knock it off Come on. We not falling for that, man. Um, and we don't we don't we don't accept it. We don't take pride in that. Y'all know how me and Jeb like we on some different stuff. Y'all niggas got fake what? You got a fake. Let a nigga come outside with a fake beard. We are on his ass laughing our ass off. I'm telling you. All of us, nigga. You come out with a fake beard and your homies don't make fun of you, they not your real homies, bro. They are yes, man. They will not tell you if you, yeah, booger in your nose. They wouldn't tell you if you was mad. You was, you wasn't really matching. If you was on the borderline of matching and not matching, the real friends is going to tell you, bro, no, that don't match. I mean, in the dark, if we, where we going to be, you know what I'm saying? It, it, you, you might be able to fool some people, but that don't match, bro. I know it don't match. And I'm going to tell you it don't match. You probably need to switch it up Um, if you really want to be like, on bro and you rolling with me i ain't gonna let you do that you see what i'm saying that what i'm saying we that's just where we at that's just where we at as men that's just where we at i don't know what else to tell you yeah we we, we gonna let you know but that fake friend gonna tell you you know what i mean if he absolutely say yes you match and he don't say like you can pull it off but it really don't match that's a cool nigga right there that's a, that's the nigga you need to holler at and talk to right there because that's a it's a good man for you um, no Diddy. Um, I mean, um, nah, 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 no Epstein, nigga. Nah, who else up there, nigga? No Barack, nigga. Knock it off. Uh, 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 yeah, <laughs> knock it off. Um, let's see what else. I think that's it, man. Fake jury. Yeah, I mean the grill. I think they like three fifty four. Ain't no telling. I don't know the fucking China man. I don't really speak Chinese. I don't know where he gets materials from. He say they they work for certain thing. I just agree and pay the price. And he does his thing, and I do my thing by giving him the money and doing my. And next thing you know, I got a grill. And if you looking from where I'm looking at the camera, do I is my grill real? Type it in the chat. I don't know. But please like, subscribe, follow, because y'all don't be doing that. You know what I mean? Like, that's going to be my, um, I did that. Uh, that's going to be my, uh, you know what I mean? My, um, thumbnail. My thumbnail. My thumbnail. Um, all right. Uh, 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 let me record one for, um, if you enjoying this video, please do me a favor and like and subscribe. That's all I'm asking, man, so you can see more of me. I got a lot more to come. Thank you.